Hi, this is Francisco Bijan from VitalCoaching.com and we are talking about dating success for men. The topic for this video is what if she does not return your call? You probably have been in this situation as a guy. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe you have been successful every single time you contacted a girl, but if you haven't, here are some strategies on how to deal with this specific situation. Uh, you will have to apply these strategies if you did call a girl and she does not return your call, right? Um, you know, if you text her, if you left a voicemail and she doesn't call you back, if you, um, you know, send her an email also and she doesn't email you back, here are some strategies to deal with this specific situation, okay? So don't feel rejected by it, <laughs> that's the first step, don't feel really turned down. Uh, there can be many, many reasons why this is happening, and I'm going to give you some strategies on how to deal with it specifically. So the first thing to realize is that if she does not return your call, it can mean that she's busy with something else. It's very simple. Sometimes it's going to be an ex. It's going to be another man, somebody who is in her mind and does not give her the space to start dating other guys right now. So it's not a rejection towards you. It simply means that there is somebody else in her mind and right now she cannot focus on, on, you know, on having a connection with another man. So that's the first thing to remember. It can be also other, uh, simply other reasons like work related worries, health. She can also be simply self-absorbed, you know, in a kind of an inner process, you know, researching, developing her personality herself. So all these reasons can mean sometimes that she's not going to be open for dating. Sometimes she thinks also that uh, dating is going to be too complicated or she's uh, a little bit scared or challenged by the idea of really going out and, and dating, dating a guy. Um, many women you know, are going to be very pretty, very attractive, very sexy and when it comes to really taking the step and actually opening up within a, a more um, you know, dating context with a man, they are going to be actually um, take a step back and not dare to engage really into it because sometimes you know, they have some some deep embedded fears about the dating process, maybe about sex or something like that. So there can be lots of reasons why a woman will step back and decide not to follow up on, on dating. So, um, you know, how you can perceive uh, this, uh, the fact that she does not call you back, it's really very often it will be a no thanks, I cannot uh, take that step right now. So, <laughs> you know, you can get the message and um, uh, sometimes it will mean that it's better to give her the space and simply not follow up on, on the first call. Now we will check, of course, situations where eventually it's possible to take one step further and uh, initiate again contact maybe in another way and uh, so that she, you might have maybe greater chances of getting her to respond. The next element that comes into the picture is that maybe you did contact her and this was already really good, that was a very positive step on your side, but in the way you contacted her, you were being a bit too vague. When you call her and you say something like, uh, why don't we get together sometime? Uh, if you feel like talking, give me a call. These kind of you know, introductions are really too vague for a woman. <laughs> it means that when you say something like that, she will have to do all the work. She has to actually contact you back, find something to talk about, find a date, find a possible way of getting together. So this is really too vague for her. You have to be much more specific and even more directive. This is really a key word to remember. You can really be directive with women and on top of that they like that. And this is one of the great mysteries because you think, well, you know, I'm being respectful, I give her all the space, uh, wouldn't she be attracted to that? But the fact is that actually a woman wants you to have a high level of power. She wants that because, uh, you know, it's, it's, uh, it's based on, on instincts, very profound instincts. We will talk about this in another video. Uh, it would be too much on, on here. But for now, remember that being directive is a very positive step or a very positive uh, attitude that you can have, which is really going to increase the level of attraction women feel for you. So be in power, you know, uh, express a high level of power and be directive in the way you contact her. How do you do that? Well, it's very simple. For instance, if you give her a call and you get her voicemail, you will say something like, meet me at, you know, Café del Mar, whatever, at 8 o'clock Saturday, uh, I will be there with some friends. You know, that's it. You don't give her explanation, you don't apologize, you don't give her a way to get out of it, a possibility, all that. You are just very directive, very specific, and you tell her exactly what you want her to do. 
Okay? And this is something that works wonders because um, a woman will respond to it and perceive you as, you know, being confident and being in power, which is what you, have, you, you are, right? If you decide to take this attitude and this posture, this is what she's going to perceive from you. And therefore, she's going to respond to that in a very magnetic and attracted way. Now, not all forms of power are attractive and magnetic. We will talk about this in another video, of course. Uh, but for now, remember, be directive, really dare to be directive. And uh, you will see that uh, this usually creates really wonders. Okay, so the next question is, if she did not get back to you, should you actually, um, you know, follow up and follow up with that specific woman or is it better to move on and, you know, get somebody else's phone number and eventually call her back? Uh, I would say that in many, many cases, it would be better to find somebody else. Uh, with a woman, you will get a couple of shots, a couple of chances. And if it doesn't work, it's much easier to start fresh with somebody else than to try to pursue, um, you know, a connection that did not work in the first uh, two or three times. You can, of course, break through eventually if you shift your attitude and strategy eventually. She might respond to you in a better way, but uh, it's very often much easier to uh, create a new first impression with somebody else rather than trying to recover, um, you know, a connection that did not work really well in, in the beginning. So my advice would be have really loads of options, lots of possibilities. If you just have one phone number, one woman, um, you know, that you can connect with, most of the times it's going to be too limiting and you will become, you know, will tend to behave in a very demanding or needy way towards her and that's not sending out the right signal. So if you want to, uh, to, to position yourself from a position of, from a place of freedom, the best is really to have a few alternatives. So work on, you know, your, your initial dating skills, how to approach women, etc., so that you have quite a few options open and you don't depend on just one person's positive or negative answer. Okay, that's all for now. You take care and bye-bye.